Hey everybody, uh, it's Dan again, and today I'm going to talk about how you can get on the schedule as a speaker at South by Southwest. South by Southwest is an amazing time every year. You can learn a lot, you'll have a lot of fun, you'll meet really interesting people. Uh, South by Southwest is actually three conferences happening at the same time. There's an interactive technology conference that starts next March 13th on a Friday and runs for about eight days. Uh, that's a technology conference. The same day, a film festival starts, and about five days later, the music festival starts. So it's a film festival, a technology conference, and a music festival all rolled into one. Really, really interesting confluence of interesting people all to Austin every single March. Uh, this will be my 12th year attending. I hopefully will be a six-time speaker, and this talk is about how you can get on the agenda as a speaker as well. One of the great things about South by Southwest is it doesn't matter if you are the founder of a company or if you have an amazing high title or if you are the author of a book, anyone can get on the agenda uh, at South by Southwest. All it takes is paying attention to the rules uh, and a little creativity and a little bit of hard work. Uh, so here's how it's going to work. Starting July 1st this year, it's 2019 if you're watching this in the future, July 1st Submission, submissions for talks open up through panelpicker.sxsw.com. I'll put that in the, in the notes below. Uh, also, once submissions start, you'll have about four weeks to submit. So around the end of July, everything will close. Don't hit submit until you're actually ready because you can't edit it once you've submitted. And you can only submit one talk per person. So uh, spend a little time figuring out what your offering to this community might be, uh, whether you're talking about blockchain or AR, VR, or some design thing. Uh, you have a lot to offer and this conference wants to hear it from you. So here's how it's going to work. When you submit your talk, there's going to be three things that are important. Uh, the first is a catchy title. A lot of people, whether they're voting on your panel pick or submission in the month of August, or whether they're looking for something cool to attend in the month of March, uh, they will be focused on a long list of lots of titles of lots of talks. There will be about 6,000 submissions sent in July this year, and they will whittle that down to about 800. Uh, so a catchy title gets you pretty far in the process. A catchy title is not enough, though. It also takes this. Number two is specificity. Uh, don't just say blockchain in 2020 or VR will change the world. Uh, talk specifically about your specific take. Uh, the five interesting things you've seen in VR, MR, AR so far, or uh, new applications besides just investment for blockchain. Those are really, really interesting things that lots of people want to know about. Uh, if you have a specific take on one of those subjects, submit your talk. Be specific. That's my point. Uh, specific will uh, help the audience really, really figure out what they're going to get out of your talk. The third thing is audience relevance. So at this, at this conference, there's going to be a lot of developers, some designers, some founders of companies, some marketing people, some innovators that just want to learn about new cool things in technology. This audience wants to learn things that they can bring back with them and do something interesting with it. Either uh, bring that to their own job at work or launch a new startup in that area. They want to learn from you and they want specific practical things they can take back. Uh, so if you haven't been to South by Southwest before, picking relevance for that audience is going to be a little tricky. So first, I, I really, really, really recommend trying to get to South by Southwest before you try to submit. Uh, go to some talks, figure out what it's all about, meet some people, figure out what they're here for, uh, and go there for that benefit yourself. So uh, those are the three things that matter. Catchy title, specific relevance for your audience. Uh, you put those three things into a talk submission, and that will get you pretty far. Uh, your submission closes on July 28th or so, and then there will be about five or six weeks of public voting. You have to drum up audience excitement for your own talk. So tweet to your proposal, get some upvotes, get your friends and family to, to like and share and comment, and that will uh, help tell the audience uh, that you have a talk that's worth attending. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, if you haven't been there, watch some of my other, other videos on how to make the most of your time in Austin. And I wish you luck submitting your talk. And either way, I will see you in Austin in March. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later.